Hey everybody, this is Chad. You may recognize this video. It's the first one I ever posted on YouTube. At the time I did it, I was too shy to narrate it. So for all these years, it sat there with no narration. Now that I've gotten used to talking to you guys, I'm going to narrate the video, uh, give it some new life so that you know what's actually going on. In this case, this is a green spotted puffer. This little guy wouldn't eat the kind of food he was supposed to. Puffer's teeth continue to grow throughout their lives like KVs and rabbits and if you don't uh, take care of them then they will just continue to grow so much that the animal can't even open its mouth to eat at all let alone properly this little guy was provided all the right foods he had a nice tank with crabs and uh, snails and uh, that kind of stuff in it but it just he wouldn't eat them and so it didn't take long before it got to a point where he was having trouble opening his mouth because of the teeth growth. So I knew something had to be done. So what I did is I uh, put him in a little vat of water here with some clove oil. Just a couple of drops. If you use too much you will kill the fish. Now I don't even use it. I have a different method that I that I use um, using very soft completely soaked cloths to hold the fish immobile. Um, but that's a different story. With bigger puffers you need power tools. But with this little guy um, just the clove oil. So he's completely out now. <clears throat> As you can see, he looks dead, but guarantee you, he is not dead. Um, he's just anesthetized. And think of it as you having surgery. That's what he's having here. I use cuticle nippers, which are just side cutting little nippers that you purchase at Walmart uh, in the cosmetics section. They're very cheap. And they're good. They're better than fingernail clippers because the blades are on the side much easier to see and manage and shaped right. They're not the curved kind of thing because you want a straight cut. You don't want a curved cut on this. So you cut the, the bottom and top teeth. They've got two on top, two on bottom. And uh, you make a nice straight cut across them. It takes less pressure to do this than it does to cut a human fingernail. So this is something very, very easy to do and it's quick. Just the only thing to make sure of is that you don't cut the lip. You kind of push it back a little bit with your uh, finger and then clip it. No problem at all. Once you do that, you want to get the fish as soon as you can into a vat of clean water. You want to stir it around and get the clove oil off of it uh, and get it uh, the clean water circulating over its lungs, or gills, uh, lungs, gills again, and uh, so that it will recover quickly uh, from it. So in, in this case, once I had it uh, trimmed nice and straight, uh, stick him in that vat there and uh, stir him around. Again, he looks absolutely dead, but I guarantee you, he isn't. Now, once again, this is not something you're going to have to do to every puffer that you own. You're seldom going to have to do it, and eventually that this guy did learn how to eat. What I did with him is I took mysa shrimp and I put them into a divot in a rock, and so when he would go down and bite the mysa in the divot of the rock, he would scrape his teeth on the rock. He still never ate snails or clams or any of that kind of good stuff but he did finally uh, use that rock to do it so that's a, a kind of a trick that you can use uh, to help out with it so this is an easy procedure it's one that you may be forced to do uh, on occasion and that's just uh, something that you have to do it doesn't mean that you are if you know necessarily neglectful if you're providing him with the right foods and he won't eat them there's nothing you can do about that at that time. You're going to have to take care of the fish until it either learns how to eat the proper foods or you learn a way to encourage it to grind its teeth on something else. So that's what I ended up doing with this puffer. He lived a happy healthy life. Re um, as you can see from the video he recovered nicely and easily without any problems. There's a, a long article on my website about this. You can read it. it's in the description. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.